Hello and welcome to episode number 28 of this list by workers and resources Soviet Republic here at uh, Hannibal Noor's uh, channel. Now last episode we built a um, hmm, what did we build? We built a sewage discharge system kind of uh, thing. So basically we are traveling to the custom house filling up our uh, sewage tanks with uh, well sewage and uh, dumping it into the river, which, you know, is flowing right back into their car. So, uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's uh, what we decided to do. Uh, we are also kind of looking into trying to get rid of, oh, not get rid of them, but um, lowering the amount of students we have, which um, there is a lot of them. We have uh, done a preferred uh, student according to education level, so uh, hopefully we'll get them quicker through the education system and um, and make room for new ones. Uh, and hopefully eventually this will kind of even out a little bit. Now we're also doing a little bit of research here on uh, metallurgy, which is necessary for... Um, for the vehicle production line. Uh, we also had to lower the amount of people that we sent to work here. So we're not having that many people here now. But there should be around 20, 30 people um, on average working here. A little bit lower, it seems like. And of course, there comes the snow again. Perfect. Uh, if we look at the population number, we should see... Oh, we are actually... Some bad numbers. Our population is going down. So, you know what that means? I think it means that, if we look at here, health is decreasing. The people... Drinking alcohol. I think we'll do this. Save us a little bit of money and some workers to go somewhere else. Happiness is going to go down uh, a bit. But I do also think that the population is going to be uh, getting a slight little boost due to the, um, to the lower uh, alcohol consumption. Or at least that is the plan. Uh, by the way, that means we could uh, potentially uh, look at some new buildings that we can build. Uh, the only one we can build is these three here. And those two and that one. But we should be getting uh, quality uh, of that up to... Well, over 85. That's kind of kind of what I'm hoping for. And let's look at the big ones. They're always fun. 87, that's good. 252 people can live in there. Uh, 200, well, they are... 187. We could have a couple of those coming alongside here and potentially here. Maybe not too close to the, um, to the, um, factory here, but, uh, I'm still worried about the, uh, the whole thing here with so few people, uh, sorry, so many people dying, and that is absolutely not great. I wonder why it is. I think we can bring this down to 15 again. 15 should uh, allow them to have around 70, six, 70 people, 60 to 70 people. And we have on average 30 people. 
shouldn't see any... Any bread lines out of that, which is kind of what we need to pay attention to. But yeah, this is not good. And I don't get why. So they're not kind of piling up at the doctor's office. Could be just an age thing. But what it also could be... Okay, so... The way the pollution works. So, you see kind of where the wind blows, right? If we had done the pollution research, we could have seen, like, this area here would have been polluted. And if we go a couple of months, you see the smoke moves? So, it probably would have been like this now. So that probably means that we have had a plume of pollution kind of hitting the town for a little bit, and then it goes away. So I think maybe that is why we see death, death numbers, because it's not like a perfect circle where the pollution is constantly. It's kind of always moving uh, in an elliptic um, circle. That is kind of what I've seen in my almost 5,000 hours playing this game. So, it could be that sometimes the pollution hits uh, these, and that's why we are getting uh, some numbers that we don't like. So, you see, we have the same here, then it goes up, and then we probably had another hit here, then another hit here, and then we have a fairly nasty dip here. You're full again. Let's uh, let's uh, do that so we can educate some extra people instead. I, I don't know which which one of them is better. Then again, how many students do we have here? We have six. Uh, uh, sorry, professors uh, doing research. But we shouldn't... Oh, it could be that we see some... Yeah, we are seeing a little dip here. So this is probably when we... When we did this. So that means... We'll do that. Get some more professors educating the masses here. I just want to get them out of... Out of town. Pesky students! <laughs> um... Yeah. Let's see here. This month. So we have gone up from, what does it say, 224 to 226. Last month we had a little bit of a down spiral here. And yes, we also had some issues with the trucks here. We, did, we were actually not sending workers down. Let's uh, reduce this to three. Three people. I mean, we are still constantly losing money, which is... Uh, it is not great. Another thing we should look at, and that is the technical service here. How do we set this up? Let's reduce this so they focus on the asphalt roads a little bit more, and the bridges and the one-way roads. I think the first vehicle we're going to have to build when we get our factory up and running has to be um, a covered hull so we could potentially start planning some stuff here. And I think we're going to need quite a few, a few 
few uh, extra covered holes for that. And then again, we're also going to need, uh, if we're going to be setting up shop here in Better Shop, we're going to need to have basically a little bit of everything here. We need a refrigerator truck, we're going to need an open hall, we're going to need, well, I don't know if we actually need a covered hall. But we need ambulances, we need fire station, uh, fire trucks, uh, the whole shebang. So, um, so yeah. Uh, but this probably means that we also have dropped quite a bit of steel. 825 tons of steel still stored here. I, I don't think it's necessary with, uh, with more than that. It's minus 30 degrees. Uh, what is happening here now? Seems a little bit colder than it should. Hmm. Uh, another thing I would like to check. So we had a discussion about fuel, so let's see how much money we spend in fuel. Nothing? Okay. Uh, that is December. One thousand in November. Okay. And if we go to... Income. Yeah, we are definitely... And then we also gain 1,600 in buying sewage and dumping that. Uh, also, happiness has dropped quite a bit, and that's because there are people complaining about not having alcohol. But that's, that's fine. Um... I think. Yeah, that's fine, I think. Uh, it might not be, though. Uh, maybe we should give them some more stuff to do, because I do believe that pubs, pubs and taverns, pubs and taverns, pubs and taverns, pubs and taverns, pubs and taverns. That's the only thing they're complaining about. Should theoretically be making money. 825 people. 27. Eight. Yeah, health is up to um, to um, 94 percent. Uh, what was it I wanted to check? Uh, our population numbers. So, this month, from 1st of January, we had 11 born, 3 dead. Last month. Last month was still a bad month. How about the month before there? Equal. Even though we have some bad month, and I, I think it's due to winter and, and such, it could also be the the, the cone of the pollution that kind of moves and kind of hits um, some of the buildings. That could be. Then again, we kind of don't see like in the... We don't see too much trouble with the... Um, with the uh, hospital here, because if that were the case, the hospital would have been overrun. And that doesn't seem to be the case.
I don't get it why we have so many students. It's um a little bit annoying. And it seems like we have flattened out here. I, I don't know where we're getting all these students from. Uh but this is the entire Republic, the numbers of the entire Republic. Oh, you know what it could be? You want, you know what the deaths could be? It could be like people out here that are getting old and dying. Um, well, some, some smileys out here. Yeah, maybe that is the problem. Should we, um, hoover up some of them? Bring them into the fold? Communist Utopia? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I laughed. And I feel like a Communist Utopia is an oxymoron. Um... But that's just me. All right, uh, there are some more people. Wait. Well, we certainly had cleared out quite a few of these. Oh, we'll bring them into the warmth. Could be, um... They should be skilled with a, uh, a sewing machine, right? If not, it should be easy to teach them. Just step on the pedal and don't get your fingers between the sewing machine and the needle, which I have done, which is absolutely... It wasn't very painful, but like the horror <laughs> when your finger is stuck in a sewing machine, uh, it's, uh, it's undescribable. Because uh, you don't quite... You know, it, it happened so quick. A long time ago. I think I was in... What? Seven... No, sorry. Eighth grade, I think. Get in here, be happy, be cozy, be warm, and multiply, and operate the sewing machine. I mean, it shouldn't be that. Give me a good life here, people. And if you complain, we do have a special um, concrete block of shame over there. Uh, where you can spend the rest of your life. Or at least two years of them. If you, um, you don't like it here. This is so tedious. I wish we had like an ability like in, uh, oh gosh, what was that game called? Black and white, where you can just, you, you control the hand and you can just hoover up a whole bunch of people. Uh, that was a, a nice ability. I wish we had something similar here. Do you know what they say? You have to break some eggs to make a communist omelette, right? Then you might ask, but where is the omelette? Well, there is none. <laughs> there is no omelette in the communist utopia. There was no more eggs to break. By the way, um, you 
Couldn't already tell. I'm not very fond of that ideology. <laughs> not overly fond of it. Alright. I mean, it can't be that many more places that actually have people now, right? Like, there is five. You know what? There's five here. Let's grab them. We, 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 we're just going to pick up the rest now, I think. Yep. So we'll move those down here this time. So it's going to be a little bit easier to see. I feel like we have been here before and picked up all the people here. to see their education level let's see if their education level start to become uh, more than basic educated that means that they have moved from our town after they have gotten their college education uh, where are we now here and we go to here which I'm fairly certain we have fairly certain Let's bring those uh, those folks home. Yeah, and here also, I mean... Yeah, look at that. He's educated. He's educated. Shouldn't be here. Same with you. Spent precious resources uh, getting you educated. And this here, there should definitely not be the people, but there is. And look, even here. Oi. It's a mystery, my friends. It's a mystery. You're smart, so you can live here. Probably, probably you are smart, you can live here. have to look at their education level so we can put them in put the smart people in where they belong I'm 
don't understand why they would like to live somewhere else. I mean, we have freaking water, food, and plumbing. Come on, guys. Don't have to move it out to the wilderness. The only thing you have to do is spend eight hours a day uh, making uh, clothing. You're getting all the food and all the electricity all for free. Not good, not good. Ungrateful people. But you know, slow and steady wins the race. Central heating, everything is fine here. I don't understand why you want to live out in those civilized huts out in the woods there. What? Well, you're complaining. No power, no job. I mean, here, you will have a job and power. You're smart. All right, there we go. Okay, let's uh, let's go for a new one. Um, by the way, how are we doing for research? How are we doing here? This is chock full. Sixteen people here. One day, comrades, you will uh, make vehicles and make the, the Republic proud uh, by making a lot of money uh, for the Republic. Yes, just followed my orders. Everything would have been great. Should be three here. Yeah, we're just here. see you there and uh, let's see that was that one and this is the last one there you are okay. when we're done here we shouldn't see any people living anywhere else And then we'll be hit by an earthquake, and um, we will lose everybody. to um, make another house. So even though it says 825, we only have 537. So. Mm -hmm. 
which is um, okay so if we now go and look entire map should only be one place with buildings in it just the most uh, numerous place it's this guy here is the biggest uh, city there is yep at least the one with the uh, the most amount of um of workers so now now that we know there is no other places where we can find workers let's hope that I'm dropping. What happens is also going quite down, but that's because we have just moved a whole bunch of people, right? Okay, well now happiness is going back up. Um, even trash. I think it was because of some road upgrades that we did. I think that might be it. And how are we looking here now? We are actually seeing some. We are actually seeing some uh, bread lines, and that is not acceptable. Not acceptable. And how many workers do we see here now? Oh, 50. That is great. How's the temperature looking? Well, it's plus 20 degrees. It's snowing. Which is weird. We still have a couple of, um, of houses left. Oh, here we have like 41. Not unable to enjoy culture. we could have done we could have added in one of these which does mean we're gonna have to fight the terrain a little bit So you didn't want to do that. Uh, you also need access to a garbage bin. Hmm. Okay, we could put you in here in between the... Which is probably going to lower the quality of the water even further. Okay. So we'll see if uh, some people will um, get to use this guy. Shouldn't take long to build him.
And then we're waiting for the steel, and there we go. Boom, pops your uncle. And the building is on fire. Fire has been dealt with. Good. Now we're going to see people working here. Yes. And people are... Uh, by the way, what was the temperature? Was it 5 degrees? 7 degrees. Okay. So if it gets colder than that, then they will not use this. But uh, it does seem like there is a couple of people here. Just a couple. Okay, so how are we doing here now? Terribly. Let's up this to 20. And let's see here, do we see any... Yeah, now we are dropping. Just max this out. People this month. Four born, eight death. Last month. Two extra. Lost four. Lost three. Gain seven, eight, nine. Lost two. Yeah, I kind of feel like we, we should be fine. But we might not. Uh, who knows? Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of still would like to figure out if we are... Let's see, this month, let's go last month. Did we spend anything on fuel? We have 3,000 on fuel. And we gain 1,700 on selling water. And we gain 1,600, so... Kind of goes up. But then again, remember, we also have used a lot of other vehicles. So basically, the sale of water and um, the, the sewage thing kind of negates our fuel costs at the moment, which is good. They're not complaining about anything. Some people are complaining about the, the whole uh, tavern thing, but what can we do? What can we do? We need you to multiply, and I kind of, you know what, I kind of feel like they didn't it didn't become any happier because, or, or, you know, it didn't multiply any more. Because they, uh... Because we cut the alcohol. Get some people in there. Give them their, uh, liquid bread. Oh, there we go. Some research has been done. Excellent. So we need uh, steel, material, fatigue study. And we probably don't need that many scientists on that. Nine, though, is a little bit many. We'll do... Uh, we'll do six. And happiness should already go up. But I do wonder if uh, we should potentially call this an episode. Um, 
interesting, interesting road. To the least. We'll have that as our thumbnail. So, uh, so, yeah, I think with that, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, there should be a uh, subscribe button underneath the video. It, uh, you know, helps us fight the pesky YouTube algorithm as we all dread. And, of course, you will get notifications, hopefully, uh, when we release a new video. And, of course, the like button really helps as well as the comment section underneath the video. If you have anything you would like to say, you know, you can just say, Oi! Whatever. Uh, and um, I'll read it. Um, so yeah, with that, again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care. And keep smiling!